So I thought I'd talk about the, the rice because um, I call it fat girl rice, but people call it Spanish rice or Mexican rice. But frankly, um, if you're not really exercising every day and burnt using your carbs, uh, it can turn into fat girl rice. But it's really good and it's really good for the kids because it has a lot of um, carbs for them. And it's gluten free and they probably will eat it. I know how kids are, they're really picky about stuff and if stuff doesn't look like rice, then they're like, what is that? But they might eat this. So um, the key to Spanish rice, and I've, I've had boyfriends that were Spanish, boyfriends from Brazil, you know, so, and I had that, that guy I was engaged to, he was a professional chef, Casey. The key to this and is actually just doing the rice dry with the onion and the garlic in the pan and cooking it dry first and sauteing like all the onions. So you know how I am, I love like my handy dandy um, food prep because I don't like crying and so I have my little food prep um, guide and I put a, almost, I put a whole onion in here um, because I'm gonna use some of it for my salsa. So probably three fourths of this uh, you, you're gonna wanna use for the, the rice. So I'm just gonna take my fingers and be really careful not to get the sharp parts. And um, I just chop it and then I'll pull out like the big parts to use for the salsa. And then I all that. It's probably pretty good. Just any chunks I'll just throw back in. Make it easy on myself. But I like this better because then, because I'm already starting to tear up. This, I can just put the top on, back on and get rid of the, uh, that smell. But I did watch The Help again, because it's one of my favorite movies. And one of the tips was putting a matchstick in your, between your teeth when you're cutting onions and they won't make you cry. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm interested to try it. So then you just add your rice and you just cook it dry, just like this on the stove. Yeah, you don't put the water yet or anything. You just put it on the stove, turn it on, and just saute it with like, you know, those spatulas I told you about to get from Sur La Tabla because um, anything else just doesn't work that great. I don't know who invented this, but it's awesome because it's like a trough, so it works really well. So basically, you just get it going and get everything kind of cooking up. And I'll move this so you can see me. And then, so this will get this will get cooked. This will get really nice and get kind of caramelized. And then once it's caramelized and you see like the onions cooking, um, then you add your can of uh, tomatoes, the fire roasted tomatoes. And then I'll add like maybe about a tablespoon of tomato paste. Um, actually, I'll do that as soon as probably I'll add that first before I even add the rest of the tomatoes, just to coat it. And um, it just makes it taste so good. So I'll do that and mix it around. And then I'll add some um, chili powder. I really like this Trader Joe's um, seasoning blend that they came out with. It's pretty new, they came out with it around Christmas time. I love it. I put it in everything. You know, I'm from Texas, so we gotta put chili in everything. Just the way it goes but um so like I said just stir it around let it go and then when that looks ready put the can in and I'll fill up this can again with a can of water and then I'll put it in the pan and let it cook down like normal rice takes you know the rice is done it's done and I just put it aside let it cool and then like I'll make all this stuff ahead and then you know dinner time rolls around I'll I'll pull it all out and start getting going with it now for the salsa, it's pretty easy, and you make really good salsa. I've had your salsa before, and I really like it. So um, I'll just take zucchini, because the zucchini is just, it's just pretty easy. And then actually, I think there's still, yeah, it's about, I'll probably put a little bit more onion in the pan. There. And then, this is kind of obnoxious, but it's the only way it works. And I'll put this back in. I'll dump the onion back in. 
And then I do this in kind of like two phases because if you try to put it all in, it's just, it's, girl, it's just not gonna work. Um, and I have my bowl. So I'll just put the cilantro, the onions, and then there's a, there's a whole garlic clove in there as well. And then I'll just you know, turn this on. And I'll get that all down. I'll throw it in the bowl. It smells really good. And then, then I'll throw in my zucchini. Get my zucchini going. And I try to do it to where it's not like pulverized, but it's just kind of like that. And then dump it. Same thing with this. You could add um, jalapeno. That would be really nice. I know you put jalapeno in your salsa, so you could put jalapeno in it. That would be amazing. And then um, I know you like to put cucumber in your salsa too. Um, I'm just using zucchini because that's what I have, but I'd probably like to do a little bit of um, cucumber in there. And then you can also add some carrot. I like putting carrot in there. That's a very Mexican thing is to add hot carrots like that are in vinegar. I like to throw that in my salsa. Um, then basically all this is, is you just squeeze. I use lemon, I don't use lime because you know everybody that I grew up with in Houston that was from Mexico, they didn't put lime in their salsa. They actually put lemon. Um, and that's Houston. So if you're from somewhere else, you know, you do it different ways. Um, but they put lemon and then um, coarse kosher salt or some kind of salt or Himalayan salt. And then they'll throw in um, some avocado, chopped avocado too, and then mix it all together. And it's really, really nice. Um, but the carrot, if you have them, that would be amazing too. So that's a good thing. Okay, so I've got those two things done, then I'll come back.